Hi everyone, and welcome to this tutorial on how to use Locked in AI's platform. Let's start by logging in in the top right corner. You'll be taken to a separate page where you can enter your email address or continue with Google. Then you'll be taken to your dashboard. On the left side, you'll be able to see all the AI co-pilots that you can use from professional meeting, online assessment, to phone interview, as well as our resume builder, which we'll do a separate tutorial on. You can also see your history. And if you click your image, you go to your profile, check your account settings, or manage your subscription. But let's go back to the interview. The first step you're gonna wanna do is put your interview information in, like your scenario. This is the industry that you're hoping to get into. We have several options from marketing to sales to cybersecurity, but for this, we're gonna do general purpose. We've already inputted the company information, locked in AI, software engineer, and for the objective, let's actually say it's a behavioral interview. If you scroll down, you can upload any document you find suitable for the job position. The more documents you upload, the more adapted and tailored to your experience the AI will be. That can range from resumes to job description to any supporting material. The more, the better. You can also use this question and answer form where you can type in a specific question and you get a specific answer back. But make sure if this is the answer that you want, that the status is active and hit save changes. Done. Last step would be to make sure that your audio is correct, choose the right microphone, and that it's connected. But before we start, let's go back and see some of these more advanced settings. For example, response link. You can choose default or concise or detailed responses. You can choose from over 42 languages, your processing time. You can enable or disable filler words. And then this threshold is a threshold for relevant information. This discerns how and what the AI is pulling from your information. Let's keep it in the middle for now. On the top right, you can see advanced settings. For example, your industry preference. You can change the industry. Let's say engineering for this. Choose a conversational tone, whether it's professional or casual. We're gonna go conversational and then put instructions for how you want it to answer. I would like to have a calm but confident tone. And then your response format. This is good for any behavioral interview where you want specifically star type responses. You can also turn on the AI coach, which will guide you through your interview and provide real time feedbacks, as well as change your AI model. For this one, we're just gonna be using our O3 model. Let's start. And then you'll be taken to our dashboard where all the magic happens. First step, start recording. You can choose your tab, window, or entire screen. Just make sure that the system audio is also being shared. For this example, we're gonna be sharing the Google Meet where our interviewer is waiting to give us a question. The video will be streamed in the top right side of the screen and in the bottom right, you'll see our live transcription, as well as your AI coach, which gives you real-time feedback. So let's go ahead and see how the questions work. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? And just like that, the answers come out in real time. You also have more settings in the top right. You can turn off auto scroll, change the right panel, turn on manual mode where you enter your questions manually change the message order, and then change the font size as well. In the top left, you have your documents. If you want to look back at your resume, maybe get a quick idea of what you forgot. And you can also turn on deep think mode, which allows for more accurate responses. And that's about it. You hit stop recording and then complete your session. You can always check out your history and it'll give you a detailed transcription of how you did, as well as a summary and report. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for listening.